Hello, Nicholas Dodge here. Today we will talk about the gazelle of the Jurassic, Dryosaurus. Its name means oak lizard. It was named for the forested habitat we believe it lived in. Dryosaurus once lived in what is now the United States during the late Jurassic period, about 150 million years ago. Dryosaurus could grow 9 feet in length and weigh as much as 170 pounds. It may have been a little bigger, but more fossils are needed to confirm the possibility. Dryosaurus was an herbivore. Its leaf-shaped teeth allowed it to forage through tougher plants. As a smaller dinosaur, Dryosaurus had few defenses against a hungry predator. But it did have one thing on its side. Speed. Dryosaurus had long, slender legs, as well as a stiffened tail for balance. This enabled it to cover great distance at high speed. With this in mind, it seems Dryosaurus was the antelope of the Jurassic. It scoured the lowlands for plants to eat, ready to spring at any sign of danger. And like antelopes, Dryosaurus might have lived in groups, making it easier to spot a predator. Dryosaurus is one of the cases where dinosaur growth has been studied. Youngsters had large eyes and short muzzles. As they grew, the eyes shrank and the snouts got longer. As hatchlings, they were able to walk and run shortly after birth. They would continue to grow throughout their lives, indicating a warm-blooded metabolism. Based on the bone beds of the Morrison Formation in the western United States, it's entirely possible that Dryosaurus coexisted with other neighboring herbivores. As with modern herbivores, we think this is a form of mutual protection. Sauropods were literal fortresses of flesh, while Stegosaurus was essentially a living tank. Dryosaurus, on the other hand, may have had keen senses. If it's true they practiced mutual protection, then the larger dinosaurs acted as barriers for the Dryosaurus. On the other hand, the small grazers would have served as lookouts. It's an effective survival strategy that continues today. Next time on Prehistoric World, we will document the peculiar Sukomimus. This is Mr. Dodge, signing off.